Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about a very serious event uh, here at the uh, show tonight, and it's called the event. Stick around. We're going to talk about it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the event. Have you heard about it? There's uh, a rumor uh, floating around that there's an event coming and they've come up with a very original name for it. It's called The Event. And uh, Mark Zuckerberg has spoken about it and uh, Jeff Bezos has spoken about it. A number of the Globalist class have spoken about it and they are so concerned about the event that they have decided to build bunkers in New Zealand of all places. You know, maybe they were fans of Jacinda Ardern. I don't know. Why were they going underground if they were? But they're building bunkers. Um, obviously, they are all admirers of Adolf Hitler and his whole bunker technology. So they want to build bunkers just like the Fuhrer. Uh, maybe it's a sign that the globalists are fleeing. I don't know. But, you know, it's a strange meta. There you go. There's a reference to uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg there. So, you know, but there seems to be something coming um, where these globalist billionaires feel they need a kind of airtight bunker for, I guess, uh, which they will retreat into. I mean, another one is Peter Thiel. He also has a, a whole bunch of land in over in New Zealand. You know, he was the famous, uh, he's actually a right wing um, tech guy. And actually, he's quite interesting. Um, you know, he's a supporter of Trump and other things. But um, so, you know, it's very interesting. And so what could this event be? Um, you know, it could be climate change related, you know, which of course is problematic because climate change isn't real, ladies and gentlemen. So they have a problem there. They, they say it's climate change, but then the weather, you know, obviously, you know, it's, 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 it's cold here in Melbourne. It's, it's January and you, you still need the heater on a couple of nights uh, of January in Melbourne, which is unheard of. That's never happened in my life ever, by the way. It's so cold in Victoria, you know, and the weather's constantly changing. You go out in the morning, it's freezing, and in the evening, it's summer, and you want to jump in the pool. So, you know, it's crazy. And then you've got something to do with AI. I think it's probably too early for AI to go rogue, so I don't think it's going to be anything related to AI. Obviously, there's the EMF attack, which is, you know, where the power grid is taken down. Now, that is something I think is possible. Obviously, they had their predictive programming recently from that uh, slimy bastard, um, you know, who... Uh, you know, what's his name, Esmeal or whatever, who did, um, you know, uh, Robot, uh, Mr. Robot or whatever. And, uh, you know, he's some strange globalist kind of filmmaker. And it was produced by the uh, Obama family it's called Leave the World Behind, ladies and gentlemen. And I watched it on Netflix and it was sort of interesting. But uh, and another interesting thing, it's kind of a side event there. Apparently there's some weird... Um, EMF thing in the film itself. People have downloaded it online and then there's some kind of weapon that's been inserted into the film itself. I have no idea if that's true. But, um, you know, an EMF attack I think is possible. Whether it there, I mean, you know, you've had, um, for example, uh, Dennis Quaid go on the Tucker Carlson show recently and speak about a possible EMF attack, not from China, not from Russia, but from the sun. That if a, uh, you know, like a solar flare was just to kind of shoot out into the, uh, into the uh, universe or whatever in a certain direction, it will hit the earth and could basically take out our power grid. I have no idea if that's possible, I, but I guess it could be possible. But to me, I reckon if it's happened, the World Economic Forum have got to be behind it somehow. So we could be in for um, you know, an EMF attack, or they could go another coronavirus. They could go another, um, obviously, um, you know, pandemic. I think, I think personally it's too soon. I think they couldn't drop another pandemic on us so quickly. Uh, but they're at the World Economic Forum at the moment in Davos um, discussing a thing called Disease X. Now, obviously, that's a bit like the uh, the X-Files, isn't it, ladies? And we don't exactly know what that is. It's the X-Factor. We don't know what Disease X is, but we, we have our lovely friends over in China responsible for the last pandemic experimenting with coronavirus uh, and uh, human-like uh, mice and they've invented a version of the coronavirus that kills them all, ladies and gentlemen. So I think, you know, the future of humanity is looking bright. Um, so I think that, that could be basically like the Andromeda strain, which is a famous film from the 1970s about some virus that gets released in a small uh, country town that basically kills everybody. Uh, stone dead within five minutes, except for a small baby and an old man. And a secret group of vi virologists get sent there to take this disease into a laboratory so they can try and work out what it is. So, you know, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That What is the event? Um, I do know that the globalists have uh, uh, taken it seriously enough to build their own bunkers, just like the Fuhrer. So, um, you know, there it is.